Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question here for today. DC is twice the length of BD. And find what is the value of theta according to this diagram. The angle for this part is 120 degrees. I use 180 degrees minus 60 degrees here and I got here 120 degrees. And for this part, is 45 degrees. For this triangle ABD, simply by using supplementary angles and this is the value. Now I'm going to name this part as angle alpha. Let's decide AC to be named as N and since DC is twice the length of BD, if I assign X to be the length of the BD, so for DC, that would be 2X. By referring to the triangle of ADC, and I'm going to use the sine rule. 2X divided by sine alpha is same as the value of N divided by the sine 60 degrees. And now the value of the n turns 2x sine 60 degrees over sine alpha. I make it simply by using the cross multiplication. By referring to the largest triangle here, which is the triangle of A, B, C, I'm going to use the sine rule again to work out what is the equation here. That turns n over sine 45 degrees, that's the same as the sum of the length here x and 2x, which is the entire length of the BC, which is x plus 2x, we got 3x divided by the angle here, which is the sum of 15 degrees and the alpha. That is sine alpha plus 15 degrees. By using the cross multiplication again, and I am getting the value of n as 3x sine 45 divided by sine alpha plus 15 degrees. I'm going to name this as the first equation and this here as the second equation. Second equation and the first equation, we can equate it directly and that is going to form this new equation and we can drop the x here by simplification. I'm going to continue my work here on the top part right side. Sine 60 degrees I'm going to replace by square root of 3 divided by 2 and for the sine 45 degrees is in fact 1 over the square root of 2 while for sine alpha plus 15 degrees I'm going to expand it by using the trigonometric addition formula and that turns sine alpha cos 15 degrees plus cos alpha sine 15 degrees. By doing the cross multiplication, and this is the result. Now, we are going to simplify the thing. Sine alpha divided by sine alpha, it is simplified. While cos alpha divided by sine alpha, that is going to be cot alpha. And the equation turns into this. By making cot alpha the subject, the equation becomes this. And eventually, by using the calculator, alpha is 45 degrees, which is 45 that I'm going to label here. Now, the final step, we will find what is the value of the theta. Theta would be, by using the supplementary angle, 180 degrees minus 45 degrees minus 60 degrees and that's left 75 degrees for the value of theta and we solve the puzzle thanks for watching and please subscribe